All right, wait, we've made it to the batik factory in St. Kitts. If only all our factories looked this pretty. <laughs> Look at that. And we're going to get to print one today. Hot house and this area is the final process. So what's going on here is that we soak all of the material once they're finished. Some of them, depending on the vibrancy of the color, we have to soak it overnight. And then we boil it for 30 minutes from hot to hot to hot until all of the wax is off. And then we get a finished piece of material. So here you have a sheet that still has the wax on it and it's going to be very stiff. Boiling, then you get that finished piece where there's no more wax on it. Oh, wow. So we do two processes. We do a tie-dye, which is this, where we tie. We tie, we dip in a dye, we wax. You tie the dish on a dye, and then you can get up to 20 colors on this, okay. depending on how many times you tie and dip in that. And then we also do the batik, which is we use jantins and japs, and japs are what you're going to use today to get a certain design. So, for example, this is called the star design, which is our signature design, and this is freehand. Oh. And then we use things like the butterflies and the turtles, we use the japs, where you get that precise butterfly or that precise. So we're going to go straight over. By the way, sorry, I didn't tell you what wax we use. We use a consistency of free wax. It's a white paraffin wax that we get from the UK. A locally produced yeast wax. And a wax that we get out of Indonesia, which is a very locally dark wax. So those three combined together gives us the wax that we need.